In this video we are going to install upscale textures for the PPSS PP game Dragon Ball Shin Budokai 2. This is for the PAL or European version of the game. You also need to own a copy of the game because this is only a tutorial on how to install the texture pack. And this is going to be done in PPSS PP 1.18.1 for Windows Desktop. Now we are going to start by downloading the textures from the official PPSSPP forums in the texture packs section and the post is called Dragon Ball Shin Budokai 2 and the textures were created by Mask Aha or Mask H4H4 and then you can click here on the download link and this will take you to a GitHub page and from here you can click here on the latest one download the 24 bits I, am, I have no idea or i can see any difference between the two so i just downloaded one if this one doesn't look good to you you can try the other one after the download is complete go to where you have downloaded the texture pack and now we need to extract the files and i'm going to use 7-zip to do this and if you don't know how to install or use 7-zip, you can watch this video here that I made and teaches you how to download and set up 7-zip to extract files and folders. And if you're on Windows 11 with 7-zip, you can hold shift, right click on top of the texture pack, go to 7-zip and then extract to folder. Then go inside of this folder, copy or cut the name with the game ID go to PPSSPP, then go to file, open memory stick, go inside of the PSP folder, taxes and paste the folder with the game ID to here. And the textures are now installed. Go back to PPSSPP, go to settings. And here in the graphics rendering resolution, I recommend changing the rather the rendering resolution to a higher resolution than the 1x or you won't notice much of a difference in the HD taxes or at least use an HD resolution then go to tools developer tools and here in the replace taxes make sure this is turned on now go back run the game and you should see here a message or notification that the texture replacement textures have been activated and the textures should now be working correctly. That's all for this tutorial and now I'll leave you the gameplay with the textures enabled. That was fun. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.